a message. Daddy will be talking to us on that particular topic. And the anchor scripture is found in the book of Jeremiah 23, verse 21. I want everybody to sit back. Many of us, we have raised our belief and our hope in prophets and prophetesses. We rest our belief and hope on pastors. But how many of prophets we rest our hope on do really have the message from God? How many of those pastors that you run after truly hear from God? Nowadays, you hear pastor on the pulpit, Oh, God said, God said, God said. Is it true that God actually said through them? Is it what they told you? Have you uh, do you verify the authenticity of the message you are given? Many messages have disrupted many homes, put many homes in disarray. Our, our father is going to open our minds so much tonight so that we can learn. And I would encourage you, because daddy that I have brought today is a teacher is an instructor, is a man vast in the world. So if I were you, I would come with a pen and paper because you have so much to write to jot down tonight in the scriptures and in the book of life. Impressing of that the evangelist, with all due respect, daddy, Tunde Aluko. Daddy, you have the floor. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah. It's a very peculiar topic, a, a messenger without a message. A blessed the man of God once uh, said this in one of his uh, teachings that a, a messenger without a message is a criminal. And I, I believe so too, uh, because uh, you cannot just uh, call yourself a messenger. Uh, speaking uh, in the secular realm or spiritual realm, you, you cannot call yourself a, a messenger without having a message. Uh, it's, a, it's a must. So truly now, like let, let, let me paint this picture. If someone should knock on your door and you open the door and he said, you said, who are you? He mentioned his name. I said, he is a messenger. The next thing is to ask him, what is the message? And if the person should now tell you, I don't have a message, and then you begin to, to, to get suspicious. You, you order him away. And if he refuses, and he say, hey, I'm a messenger, but I don't have a message, uh, it, it's going to become another thing. You can even uh, call the police to arrest him, uh, in some areas, you call your neighbors, uh, come and help me to see what I'm seeing. Oh. So, uh, like I said earlier, a messenger without a message is a criminal, and is to me now, let me add my whole. A messenger without a message is actually a dangerous and a deadly personality. Uh, one should not joke with them. Now, uh, we have different types of messengers, uh, messengers of the Lord, messengers of the devil, messengers of the flesh, messengers of fellow humans, and uh, uh, me who are the messengers of the flesh? They send them, they are the one who, they package their own message. <laughs> they, are the, they are the one who send themselves. And we have hired messengers, like I said, messengers of humans. These are people that are hired by others. I will still talk about that. But uh, I would like us to look at something now. Uh, what actually led to the, to the problem in the Garden of Eden was because Eve received a messenger. <laughs> the serpent actually came like a messenger with a message. I hope you can hear me loud and clear. Sir. Very well, sir. So the messenger, the, 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 he, he came like a messenger. If you go back to the Garden of Eden, you know, the serpent came and uh, he came as if he had a, a wonderful message better than that of, of God. When he, he told, he, he just started discussing with Eve and said, had God told you, uh, some things, and I, I would like to speak uh, on that uh, speculative prophecy. I will be 
diverting to show our listeners some things, how it started in the beginning, because uh, uh, the serpent happened to be the first false prophet ever known to man. So when he came, uh, as God said, uh, like, what people do know is that he, he was not aware that God had given them, but he, he, he knew the, the nature of God, that God is a God of order. So he came to you speculative and said, there must have been a condition. God is a God that when he, in his power as, as the creator, uh, uh, the Lucifer had been an uh, 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 experience of who God actually is, was able to use speculative mode to say, uh, had, had, had God said, maybe you should not do, and the, the woman provided it. Oh, he only said we should not do this and that, and uh, he, he quickly packaged another message. Uh, you know, you he just told the, the woman that you will take now that this your God is a nice person, no? But uh, if God is truly nice to you, uh, this your God doesn't want you to be like him. Ah, uh, do you know what can make you to be like God? Is what he actually said you should not touch. That was the message, and that is just the pattern of the message till today. And the woman said, the Bible said, the woman, I am, I see. So we will be like God. Mm -hmm. When you want to overtake your creator. So we will be like the one. We too will be able to create our own humans. We'll be able to create everything like this. And uh, she disobeyed God and listened to the message of the serpent. Now, God himself had given a direct message, don't touch it, but a, a messenger came pretending to have a message. Not knowing that he came with his own, his own message. And the devil, like I said, is still using that same style, which I'll be showing as we are going in the discussion. So what actually led to the problem, the downfall of man, the fall of man in the garden was actually the, the manifestation of a messenger without a message from God, a messenger who came with his own message. And that was the, it is not a joke when we're talking about messengers. You know, all through our life, we uh, our our parents they give us messages. Our teachers in school, the world is being ruled by messages, and when you have messages you must have first of all have messengers if uh, let me tell you now sir uh let's go to the media world anything you see anywhere whether you are watching on your cnn on bbc you are reading online someone somewhere is responsible for what you are reading uh, uh, let me paint this uh picture i remember somebody was arguing with me and he was going to he was going to to, to google to to search for facts he will present it. And I told him, I have to shake him. I say, young man, you are going to Google to copy things in order to argue with me. Have you forgotten that those things you are copying, relying on from the Google were, were, were put there by humans like, like you? Who told you those? You are arguing with me now on the subject that I'm sure of and about. Rely on the things you saw online, most of which were submitted by those who are not as qualified as I am in that particular field. So, you know, many of our people now, they just type something to Google, prrr, the thing will pop out. Don't forget that all those informations were uploaded by humans like you, by someone like you, based on his own conviction, based on his own idea. But many people now, I want to point that error, when you are searching something on the Google, don't think that it was just, that it dropped there by itself. Somebody put it there. So you, you have to be very careful. It could contain lots of errors. You know, a lot of time now you are talking from your own field. You are defining what you know. But somebody is, read, is reading. Some people will go, let me go theological now. Some people will go to, to, to Google and type a topic, not knowing that what they, they, they are trying to use to defend what they believe in was actually uh, uh, uploaded by someone talking from another angle. There could be various uh, aspects of beliefs, like somebody, some people will, will say uh, they believe in eternal security. Some people will say, okay, uh, Calvinism, 
uh, Methodism. There are different people with different submissions. So, but by the time you are flowing with one, you just believe that, oh, you are at the peak, you know, because you saw it on the internet. No, the, the person who put it there, most of those things were written, were, were written, submitted from his own point of view. So they could be wrong. So now the world, the, the world is full of messages being delivered by messengers. And I like we Yoruba people, Yoruba people, we say, or okay, Tio uh, because they know that the messenger, while conveying the message, has to be very careful. As the messages are going, are going, somebody will say, okay, they'll be removing, they will be adding, they will be dramatizing it. So we have, so what happened, what actually caused the problem in the garden was that a messenger appeared with his own message, message to make man to disobey God. And he knew the penalty for disobedience. And he succeeded in deceiving them with that uh, a message. So from that time now, the evil one realized the power of using messengers and uh, 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 coded messages to deceive humans. Not only uh, in, the, in, in the secular world, even in the church, even in our art, everywhere we are surrounded. That's why the Bible actually said, letter kill it, because information it has, is, is of the letter realm. But it, it said revelation. Revelation now, we work on the basis of revelation when you are in the, talking of the spiritual realm. It is, uh -huh. so it, it is of revelation. Because I listened to a renowned, a popular man of God when he said uh, uh, where there is no information, there must be deformation. And luckily, I was able to meet him one time and I told him, sir, uh, I disagree with what you said. And thank God he agreed with me that he was wrong and he made the corrections. I told him that uh, you said where uh, there is no information, there must be deformation. I told him, sir, information can actually lead to deformation. Information can lead, it depends on the source of the information and the type of the information. So it is, when you say where there is no information, there must be deformation. There are places where information has led to deformation. In the church, I said, sir, what I expected of you that day, talking to we believers, should have been where there is no revelation, there will be deformation. And he agreed with me and he said, uh, my brother, I'll make the needed correction. So I've spoken about the serpent in the garden. And now let's look at a peculiar story in the Bible, sir. Why this, when the spies were sent to go and uh, uh, view the land, the, the land flowing with uh, milk and honey, and they came back and uh, I think uh, only two, Joshua and Caleb, okay. only two brought positive message. The 10 other messengers said, okay, the land, beautiful land, people clapped. Rich land, people rejoiced. Wow, productive land, but the people living there, I want to be there. Ah, we were like grasshoppers. And do you know that, sir, it was that message, that particular report that made the Israelites to grumble to the point where God said, okay, for 40 years now, that which you have said, you will now experience it. You will wander about in the wilderness now for the number of days you spent in spying the land. I will turn it to one more year. I will use it. Now, I, I hope you are getting what I'm saying, sir. Because the messengers brought evil reports. So a messenger, messengers without, because in, in, in the sacred world, in the church, when your message is not from God, you are actually without a message. Anybody that, when you call yourself a servant of God and you want to speak, if you if if you can if your message is not from God, then you are a messenger without a message. Look at those spies when they came back, and they, they know like they will say they will say 
uh, we make this mistake in the church. Uh, there are these seculars and they will say majority carry the vote. The people believe me, the majority. And that is why I always tell people in the spiritual realm, in the sacred uh, world, it is not a matter of the majority. One person can be right. In a old church, sir, one person can be right and the rest of 100,000 of other members could be wrong. But it is like when you are the only one saying, this is what the Bible says. When you are the only one and 50 others are saying, that is not what the Bible says. People will say, how can you alone be confronting 49 people? These 49 people must be right. That is the mistake we are making in the church. The whole, no, let me paint a peculiar uh, 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 picture, sir. You know, when I'm talking like this, we, are, we, we, we will really discuss. Um, I remember some years back, I was in a program. They organized a, a program like an anniversary, and they were having what they call a Bible contest. And they put a question to someone that, uh, why were the Christians, uh, uh, why were the believers called Christian in, uh, in uh, 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 Antioch and uh, where they were first called? And the person said, because they behave like Jesus. And everybody clapped. And they gave the person, they gave themselves a word. But while I was to minister, I have to tell them, that is the, it, that had been the popular belief that because they behave like Christ, they were called Christians. And I said, I will show you in the Bible, you are wrong. Because the people you said called them Christian because they behave like Christ never saw Christ. So how would they have discovered that someone was behaving like Christ? And the New Testament had not been compiled then. So how would they have concluded that these people were behaving like Christ? The reason they were called Christians was because they were preaching Christ, Christ, Christ. So when people had the word Christ, Christ, they said these people were always talking about Christ, Christ. We were told, calling them Christians. Not just like some people we call uh, our other brothers Mohammedians. Because they had them mentioning the name, the name, the name. Okay, they will say, oh. So because they had them saying, Christ, Christ. The way they talk, give your life to Christ. It's all about Christ, in the name of Christ. So they called them. It was because they, their message was actually Christ that they were called Christians. Now, can you imagine, sir? I myself, what I was told from my childhood was because it was because they behave like Christ. But when I became a Bible student, a scholar myself, I discovered that what I was told was wrong. And many people all over the world still believe uh, this thing that it was because they behave like Christ. No, it was because they were preaching Christ, which is part of what we are saying now. If it were to be in our generation, I wonder if our message is Christ again. Maybe they would have called us demonologians or prosper, uh, pros, uh, prosperitians, if they are the same word like that. Or maybe they would have called us wealthitians or fire, uh, fireians, because it's now more about all, all the, the wish hunters. Because it's now more about, uh, if it is not about money, it is about wealth. If it is not about that, it's about wishes. If it's not about wishes, or it's about fire, fire, prayer. It is not about killing. Maybe they will have called, called us uh, enemy killers. But the reason they were called, first called Christians was because everything they, they, they said was centered around Christ, Christ, Christ. So they called, by their message, they were given a name, Christians. Those who are always talking using the word Christ. Well, you, you can see now that errors. Why? Somebody came up with the error. Nobody bothered to check the Bible. Nobody bothered to check the historical background. Nobody bothered to look at it uh, logistically, historically, and balance it theologically. Everybody just agreed. Look like the time, last time we had a discussion, like you refer to, somebody just woke up and said, nobody is a saint. And everybody agreed. 
Even though it was there in the Bible that we were called saints. You know, I was shocked when I read an article during Easter. Even so, somebody was writing an article and he referred to Jesus as a saint. I was just smiling that, no, you, <laughs> Jesus is a, you can't use the word saint for Jesus because the word saint actually means somebody who, who, who was a sinner but was one that uh, uh, became washed clean by the blood. But Jesus never committed any sin. So you can't call him Saint Jesus. He is above the level of sainthood. So you can see how we need to be very careful with our words. But look, that is why when we are talking about hell, we have to be very careful. So when I saw that article, I just put a call through to the person to, to say that, look, the word saint actually means those, in, in the church means those who redeemed by the blood from their sins. Jesus is actually the redeemer. So you don't use the word Saint Jesus for him. You can't use that word for him. So you can't refer to him with that uh, something. We are there. And the word Saint doesn't mean sinless. The word Saint means those who, even, even when they make mistakes, the blood is there to, to make them appear clean in the presence of the Lord. And now let's move forward, sir, to, 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 to the story of uh, one uh, funny messenger called uh, Geazi. Like some people will call him Geazi. But Gehazi, look at Gehazi, sir. He ran after the Naaman to deliver his own message. And he collected money. You can see how dangerous a messenger without a message. The guard said, I must not take a dime from you. Go. But Gehazi said, no, I will go and deliver my own message. message. And you know, it took me many years to discover why the master was so angry. Not the master, even uh, God had to approve what the master said immediately. Because Naaman was used to depict we that are Gentiles. It was a prophetic arrangement to speak of the future of the Gentiles. Gentiles spiritually are lepers. It was saying that a time is coming the Gentiles will seek for salvation, and when they seek for salvation, their salvation will be in the in the word, the symbol of the water. By they will be repeatedly, we will be repeatedly washed clean by the word that is Christ. That was when the, the man came. You, if you read that place very well, the prophet never even bothered to talk to him one on one. He sent a word to him depicting the word which is Christ. You know, we, we Gentiles now, they, they, they brought the message to us. Not that we saw Jesus physically while on earth. So that was why the prophet just said, say, go and tell that uh, Gentile man who came, that's a young man, to go. And that was why Christ said, blessed as those who we believe without sin. So the man now went there and he brought back a gift. But the prophet, uh, in his prophetic understanding, knew that sal the future salvation was being preached, knew that salvation must be free. That was why he told the leper, go, I must not collect a dime. But in, in, in the fulfillment also that when the word will come in our dispensation, that some people will try to mechanize it, the as I fulfilled that, uh, from, uh, that, that uh, aspect of it by running after Nima to collect money. And that is a warning to all ministers of God in our generation. Many of them are told to self, they are operating under the spirit of Gehazi now. They are, they are trying to mechanize the gospel. And that was the warning that you don't do it, it must be free. The cleansing of the Gentiles Leprosy it, it, it denotes sin, that our being made pure, our being cured, our being healed, we be, that was why I said, dip yourself repeatedly, wash yourself, that the word, when we are soaking the word, that we will come out clean, and it must be free. That was why the, the, the prophet said, don't give me anything. But Gehazi, a messenger without a message, ran after the man. And he collected money and he was covered. And that is why today we need to warn our ministers. If they know the meaning of that story, they will never turn it to give and take salvation. Because whoever is doing that is operating spiritually, is under, is operating under the yoke, that cause, that knowledge of Gehazi. That was why that man said, 
you and your, your generation, your descendants, not only biological descendants, those who will behave like you. Are you getting what I'm saying, sir? Well said, so sir. now, uh -huh, you can see now, sir, uh, when Jesus was talking about uh, uh, John the Baptist, he, 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 the, I think in the book of Matthew, uh, he, he made a reference, said, who are, who are you people going to see in the wilderness? He said, well, let me explain to you. That was the person that it, uh, the Bible spoke about that I am sending a messenger before. You can see the Bible testifying to, to that. Now I'm trying to, to look at that place. Uh, um, Matthew 11 now, I'm, I'm trying to, uh -huh, verse uh, 10. This is the one about whom it is written. I will send my messenger ahead of you. Who will prepare your way before you? Prepare way, not with the cutlass, not with okwa atiada, but with the kind of the message. And we can see that the messages of John was all about someone is coming, someone is coming, and baptizing you with water. Someone is coming that will baptize you with this, that will baptize with you with, uh, with fire. We can see now a messenger with a message. The message of of, of John as a messenger was to do what? To proclaim that someone is coming. And that was why, let me show you something interesting, sir. The day he digressed out of that message and he went to say, King, why did you do this and you marry one woman? You know that, that message led to the end of his life, sir. Mm. <laughs> because that you can never read in the Bible where the Bible said he was sent to go and say that his message had been said to prepare to prepare. We are reading now. The message given to him was to say, okay, to prepare the way to be proclaiming someone is coming, someone is coming. But the day he digressed to put his mouth on the political issue that he was not saying, that led to his arrest. And that was the <laughs> beginning of his decapitation. Because that was not the message given. The message strictly given to him was to be shouting, someone is here who will baptize with you with fire. Someone is here who don't see me as the end of everything. Someone is coming. Someone, and that is why today we too, we need to be very focused, to be proclaiming. You know, you know sir, that we are still in the same uh, calling. We are still proclaiming the second coming of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We are, still, we are still proclaiming that someone is coming, even though to fulfill another dispensation now, we are still to tell them about, that is why we must not digress. You know, many years back when I saw people saying, uh, uh, motivational, uh, it's a motivational uh, minister, I started smiling, I said, na lie, baba, na lie. Anybody telling you that God called them to be a motivational minister is a messenger, without a message. It's a messenger without a message. There is nothing like motivational ministry in the Bible. It's not, it's not part of the person. You can do it in your, but when it can, we are not to motivate, we are to inspire. <laughs> the message we are given is to inspire, not to motivate. Motivational, motivational speakers operate at the information rate. Inspired preachers operate at the revolutionary. That is why one of the greatest attack, one of the greatest attack that the devil launched against the church was the motivational ministry, which was a, a ministry from the, it, it was an antichrist ministry. I tell you. Now, if you want to confirm my words, sir, go to, go to a, a, a Christian bookshop, sir. I'm giving you this own work, sir. When you get there, Find a good Christian bookshop where you can sit down. Go and read the books that were written by people like Oswald J. Smith, Runa Saida. Go and read Richard Basta. All those old books written very old and not too old ones that are written maybe 1910, 1920, 1960, 1970. Now go to the sections of the books written around like 20, 25 years ago. Go and compare what you will read in those two book, in those two categories of books. You'll be you'll be shocked. 
you will you will see the difference is that those old people their book spoke about forming a standard a relationship with God. When they are talking about the topic, they will treat it. But now you see somebody telling you, so motivational ministry, motivational ministers are ministers without messages. So people like us started shouting. I've been saying this now for, when God revealed it to me, uh, that was 22 years ago, I started preaching and telling people that when you see anybody claiming to be a motivational minister, he is a messenger without a message. Motivational, there is nothing like motivational ministry. You are called to be and to, to go and inspire, not to go and motivate. But before you know it, people digress because what they were giving to people was so sweet was so simple. It was a watered-down gospel. Everybody was saying, motivate him, motivate Now, go and look at most of the people who are, who are claiming to be, in, uh, to be motivational ministers. You cannot see raw dimension of manifestation of the power of the Holy Spirit in their ministries. Quote me anywhere. Sir. They work on basis of PR, packaging, deceiving people. And people getting deceived in millions. They will say it in a very sweet way that people were following, but people forgot that where were the raw powers of our forefathers? Those people will just say, clap, clap, tell your neighbor, uh, Jesus is here, tell your neighbor, I have a good time. Forget about that. There is one of uh, these songs I, I'll be smiling. People will say, Jesus will be over, Jesus will be. If Jesus is actually here, you don't need anybody to sing that Jesus will be. What will be happening? We tell everybody that Jesus is there. Oh, but you see, motivational speakers will tell you, turn to your neighbor, tell him that, oh, I enjoy the presence of the Lord. I will be here next week. Oh, shake, hug somebody, tap somebody. The packaging will be there. No manifestation. So they came with this thing and people ran after it. And that is the beginning of a serious problem of what we are having now because the thing spread. This thing started in the, uh, uh, we first of all heard about it from, uh, I think from the United States, where, uh, motivational ministers, and before you know it, our uh, people went there to study, brought the style, they came, everything was back, 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 and people loved it because it was like a banger, back, 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 everywhere, the packaging, the suit, the presentation, the style, uh, uh, removing the, the, the serious uh, gospel, uh, just saying it in the in a way that you will just think that it is easy, and you will just forget about this, forget about that principle. They tell you the promises without telling you the conditions, and most of the time you will see them speak for one and a half hours. They will just go and look at where proverbs to back up the ideological uh, sermons and everything. And everywhere we look so beautiful. So people uh, got caught. It was a serious, a serious, it was a serious demonic uh, attack from the inside now. That was why David said, if it had been enemy, I'm a warrior. But now the people that I'm hitting with, and before you know it, these people were using the information systems. They were buying cameras using the, uh, the television houses, using the radio. The, mess, the motivational messages spread, and everybody embraced it. They didn't bother about how you dress, how you look, what it was just about just before you know it. But thank God that people are now, uh, in fact, people are making jest of it. They are making comedy out of it that uh, be careful of motivational speakers. Even now, the secular people have realized that motivational speakers <laughs> they are mainly deceivers. But you see a lot of jokes going on about them now, uh, all over, because people realize that even outside Christianity, that if you follow motivational speakers, you are deceiving yourself, because it became a big business, where you see motivational speakers renting big, big guest house, expensive places, asking people to come and listen to them, and people started paying uh, 50000 per seat, and they just look for Two or three, they like the book of Proverbs. You know, the book of Proverbs is general. They will just look for where I spoke about money, where I spoke about investment. They use it to package it, they present it to you. You clap everything you do, you make your connection, you exchange cards, you go back home. You dance away your sorrow. But when you finish dancing, the sorrow comes back. So, <laughs> so that was what happened. So, nothing like motivational until we come out to tell everybody. When I see anybody now telling me I'm a motivational preacher, I will tell you, oh, God. You be, you be like, I don't care who you are. You are 
not a messenger. You are a messenger without a message. You are real messengers are called to inspire, not to motivate. So like I'm saying, let's go back. Even when Jesus himself, we read about Jesus in Luke chapter four, uh, he is, Jesus is not only, where Jesus is different, he's not just a messenger. He is the message. Glory be to God. Glory Hallelujah. be to God. So we, we saw Jesus, by the time he came, Jesus never preached from the New Testament anyways, because there was no New Testament then. So all the sermons were from the Old Testament. So we should always remember that. <laughs> Dude, there was no New Testament then. So all the sermons, he had to rely on the Old uh, uh, Testament. So uh, the Bible said this, in the book of uh, Luke chapter 4, verse 17, that the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. Hmm. Isaiah was a messenger with message. So what he wrote down, the reason why Jesus could pick that book was because, he, he, because the person who wrote it, Isaiah never wrote what Isaiah thought. Isaiah never wrote his opinion because Isaiah wrote the message given to him by God. So the one who is the owner of the message now is about to read the message that he had used his messenger to write. Uh, you know, God is, you know, I was explaining to a friend recently. Let, let, let me digress and show you something, sir, because of our listeners. Do you know that God cannot forget anything? When we finish this program, sir, I want to give you a little homework. I want you, sir, to go and read where uh, Joshua prayed that the sun should not set. If you read that place, sir, the Bible said the, the sun did not set for about a day. About. You read it that it was almost a day. Everybody thought that, you know, that God had to solve that about. You, uh, I'm thinking of that now because of this uh, prophet I mentioned, Isaiah. You know, there was a time one king was thinking, I think it was uh, Ezekiah, when uh, the man said, uh, God said, we should ask you, what sign do you want for you to know that you will not die? He said, let the sun move back. He said, not forward now. He said, if it moves forward, I mean, no, no. Let it move back by so, so, so degrees. And the Bible said the sun moved back. Making it, when the Bible scholars and scientists now start down to analyze, they discover that the about almost a day that had happened in the time of Joshua, became was now became one single day when the sun now reversed that about became completed you can imagine how many years that joshua had had the sun to stand to stay still to the time when the the, the sun had to move back in the time of king Hezekiah. that is to say that there are miracles god will start you will think god will not come it's going to complete them he will never forget what he, that's just a digression just to give our people a deeper knowledge of how god cannot forget his promise or whatever he's doing i i hope you get my my analogy sir perfectly so, sir the message and 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 jesus now took the scroll he said he found the place where it is written this they look at the message now the message delivering the message the spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach the messenger, to preach good news, to deliver the message of what? Of good news to the poor. <laughs> and when Jesus was going, he gave us what we call the great commission. I think that should be in Matthew 28. He gave us, he gave us a message. He gave us a message. He, he gave us, he didn't just say, oh, I'm going. He gave us a message, uh, uh, like sub, like uh, messengers. Oh, uh, Matthew, if I can see that, please. Oh, Matthew, uh, he said uh, in verse 18, then Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them, in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them, teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And that was why Paul said, oh, I, I love what Paul said. I, 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 I would like to search out that place. He says something in the book of Acts. No, Paul says something as a messenger. As a messenger, who understood the danger of, of being a, mess, a, a, a messenger without a message. Uh, Acts chapter, 
20, I think it should be in Act uh, Chapter 20. Uh -huh. That's chapter 20, thank God. He said in verse 26, he said, Therefore, I declare to you today that I am innocent of the blood of all men, for I have not hesitated to proclaim to you the whole will of God. Can you get that, sir? Very well. Look at what Paul said in his farewell message to the Ephesian elders. He said, I am innocent of your blood, of anybody's blood. Why? I have not hesitated to proclaim to you the whole, 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 whole and King James Version, I think, said all counsel. That's, that, that, that brings me to another interesting topic. You know, when I start seeing people, this is the message God said I should preach. And God said I should preach faith. He said I should not preach grace. God said I should preach about demon. He said I should not preach about angel. God said I should preach about causes, but banner lie. No, you know, the Bible, Paul said, I fail not to deliver the old counsel. The old, not that Paul said, I fail not to deliver the message of demonology. You know, when I see people now, they will say, ah, in fact, we, we are we are in fabricating things. You know, when I started seeing people say, I, they are deliverance minister, I will say, where you get that one from? Because what I read in the Bible was this, and those who believe in my name, they shall cast out demons. Casting out demons is the heritage of every believer filled with the Holy Spirit. But you now see some people uh, bragging all about, I'm a deliverance minister, I'm a deliverance minister, I'm a deliverance minister. Or oh God, you are a deliverance minister. I think everybody should be a salvation minister. And you see some people, they are healing minister, healing, healing waiting. <laughs> you know, you see people demarcating, you know, in, in this country, the way we like demarcating things. They would uh, is a deliverance minister. I say, which day? And you will now see a deliverance minister. I will sit down and be looking, okay, deliverance minister, sir. You will see deliverance minister analyzing trash. Mentioning this, not written in the Bible. Spending three hours casting out to do a demon, a spirit of witchcraft, struggling for four hours. Deliverance minister. I don't say, oh, where, where are you people getting all these things? <laughs> Casting out demon. The Bible said those who believe because of what these people want to intimidate people. Let me now go to read to our generation now. Our messengers without messages, they are succeeded in raising soldiers that are afraid of Boy Scouts. Our puppets across denominations. I'm not talking about a particular what I, the Bible says, what I say to you, I say to all. Well, I'm, I'm saying this now, it's a general issue. Sir, across the nominations now, messengers without messages are dominating our puppets. Even on this uh, social media, sir, you will see them now. It's so easy now, they go live. Join me, go and bring a bottle of this, go and bring a bottle of that. They begin to rain courses, and before you know it, you will see one ten thousand people online. <laughs> you will see somebody saying, "He said today he wants to talk about bad dreams." Talking, uh, but by the time how will you go to a church, sir? After listening to these messengers without messages, you will get to your doorstep and see a world gecko. You will run back. These messengers without messages have succeeded in raising millions of Christians. Especially in this part of the world that are afraid of war geckos, sir. That are afraid of ants. That are afraid of bats. That are afraid of cats. That are afraid of dogs. That could not, cannot travel to their villages because of witches and wizards. Courtesy of the wrong summons of messengers without messages. Go and listen to their prayer points, sir. Baba, if you are not in the Lord, if you, the kind of prayer point they will be sharing, hey, I'm on the around, Tony Loru, hey, can you come Tony? Look at that, can you come Tony? This is it. Can you come Tony? Bando do a la, can you come Tony? She. And now, sir, you know what pains me is this, sir. My those God. who are not going to churches are now having their bolder, they are displaying more boldness 
than those who are going to, who are sleeping in the church. The church is to build faith. The church is not to fuel fear. But what our ministers are doing, because they know that fear sells. Mm. Uh, I'm not saying this. I'm saying this to the glory of God. I'm not saying to glorify myself. If with uh, you know me well, you have seen my videos. If I had been a thief, sir, I know the topic I can treat now with you. And before tomorrow, my phone will not stop ringing. I know the type of messages I can use the Bible to preach that people will be calling me, ah, oh, Baba, we have that problem. We have that problem. We have that problem. And anything I say they should do, they will do. <laughs> I know. Please, please. That's why somebody will wake up and say today, he wants to talk about 21 types of courses. And by the time they finish teaching 21 types of courses, people will now get home and say, hey, I will not go to my family house again. I will not relate. Everybody now in everybody's family our brothers are no longer relating anymore. People are not, many people are not talking to their mothers anymore because of the message of, you see the prayer point, put your one hand on your head, put on your shirt. Hey, somebody, I shall go down one bar. Hey, can you come on my little bill? Go no, I don't know. You go, hey, yeah, to one killer, you fancy. Every people, hey, to everybody now, all cats are evil. And we don't know we are committing sin against God. Oh, no, look down, look. When, we, when you see a cat, if you are a child of God and you are living in victory, you will see the glory of God. What a beautiful... I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm not saying those things are not possible that demons cannot possess, but that doesn't mean that all cats are evil. That does not mean that all dogs are evil. So I, I have a friend one time, a, a minister for that matter, uh, anytime he sees a cat, the next thing is that you, that cat, he does not buy. The sword of the Lord hits you, that cat. Any cat, anywhere, he must place a curse on the cat. And anytime we are sitting, if you should look at the sky and see a bird, all birds that are flying, and yet, 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 and and yet, 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 where did you read it in the Bible that book where yet open for looking? No good or stay with me. Book where Jato Bako Jadi was you lay, where Jato lawyer in the Lord by all the word about what I'm telling you. And he called himself a prophet. Tia would have asked for a compound, compound there. He were wearing it in the Lord by a Jamaica called Wepa. Every Lizard walk. And I said, Look, you are living in a serious bondage. And here for okay, oh, okay. You will see Katu Igret. Well, the day I will now spoke to him, he saw Katu Igret. I was saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, ah, ah. if God had listened to this, your prayers, all the birds will die, all the cats will die, all the ghosts will die now. What is the meaning of all this? And tell me, sir, what do you expect that man to preach on the pulpit? When people who should be casting out demons are now afraid of cats, of rats. Sir, what, is, what do you think will happen? When a soldier that you are, you are, you, you are, you, are you, you trained to go and fight a battle is afraid of banga, fireworks, knockouts. Then you will know that if you go to that, if you take such soldiers to a battle, you are going to lose. That is no, it's as simple as that. You, you have trained a soldier, you have spent a fortune on, 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 on the soldier, and you now kill down a, 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 a firewall, bah, 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 and the soldier, the, the, uh, the soldiers fainted or they ran for their lives. And then you will know that uh, nobody can defend the territorial integrity of your country. So, what is going on in the church today is that when people gather now, when they say, So, you will go there, you know, I'm not doing so waji. Because by the time the man who will come, we will hold the mic, the, the microphone, the first thing we do is to tell a story of how a black cat killed uh, somebody's uh, six children in a single night. And everybody will say, yeah, he will proceed and say, you, you've not had anything. 
He will tell a story how a worker could enter a room and took somebody's passport away. Everybody will say, ha! Ah! He will say, you have not had anything. He will tell you the, how a car say meow, and somebody's account just disappear. Bah! So everybody now, put your hand on your head. Every cat programmed to steal my visa. Before you know it, you will go to your village. You will see your grandmother holding the cat. You will say, yeah. Hey. So this is the, if, if people, you know, when I travel to villages or program, you will see some old women with cats around them. You see some people say, hey, I want their wishes. Uh -uh. And if truly you discover that something is demo is possessed, are you to run away from the person? Like I said, Christ said, if you are a believer in my name, you will cast out demons. When the people who should be casting out demons now, caught see of messengers without messages. Messengers, they have done a wreck a lot of, because sir, let me say this. If I should hear a minister preaching for five minutes, I will know whether is a messenger with a message or a messenger without a message. And I will know whether he's living a victory of Christ or in defeat. You know, you can't give me a, a message of fear and a bondage now, a topic. I will not preach it. I have read through my Bible. Christ never sent me to go and build people's fear. He, he, he did not send me to go and raise people who would be afraid of spiders. How can you be afraid of a spider, spider? You say spider, you are saying, oh, blood of Jesus, only my case word. You know, Lord, so call it spider, a spider. <laughs> oh, okay, even if your enemies are so now desperate and they should program a cat to come and meet you, then I expect you to sit confidently. Abby, like a believer. I say, oh, Mr. Cat, you are welcome, oh. In the name and speak confidently, not to say, Hey, hey, Rati Boshop, oh, hey, yeah, for what they oh, hey, I saw this, oh, I saw. No, I'm not saying this to Brad, sir. I always tell somebody, I said, If I'm alone in the whole street and something should just appear back from anywhere and say, like a ghost in the movie, and appear in whatever form, sir, by the glory of the Lord who called me. And by the relationship I build with my God, my heart will not skip for one minute. If something should appear now, maybe it's short, like in the movies, and say, come in with whatever. I will just be looking, what, what, is, what will the goblin do? What will the demon do? <laughs> I was telling the minister, I said, the day you started using your authority to cast out demons, that is the day you will, your confidence will rise in Christ. But when you see believers, that are afraid of occultic people. Hey, 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 if you put on your sultana like you are now, they will not fear you, your fellow believers. But if they see somebody covered with red clothes, with a, a funpa, a badi, ah, that's when you will hear blood of Jesus. You know, shouting in Jesus' name and blood of Jesus, there are different ways of shouting them. You can shout them with confidence to defeat, and you, you can shout it out of a uh, uh, intimidation, and it will become like, a, in English, we call it proclamation. That's why some people will be shouting it, and the demon will still harass them. They'll be shouting, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, and nothing will happen because they are not calling it authoritatively to silence the enemy. They are calling it like if somebody say, Egbamio, 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 Egbamio. It's just a, pro, uh, a, a, a procla, uh, an, an alarm. Not, not because, but like somebody who just sat back and something happened, he said, okay, oh, in the name of Jesus. It's different, oh, Jesus. That's why some people be shouting, eh, Jesus, precious, Jesus, Jesus. And the thing we still get closer to them and give them uppercut. Because the Jesus, they are not, they are shouting, eh, hey, I'm looking for that word. It's like ex, 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 uh, exclamatory remark, exclamation. They are just shouting it. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Not that. Some people say, fire, fire, fire. No fire will come. Because you are not authorizing it. You are not commanding. You are not speaking like a son of God. You are not speaking like a child of God. You are not relaxed. That is why I, I was discussing on a similar program yesterday. I said, the more you grow in the spirit, the more you relax. 
you know, if I give you some experiences, uh, well, let, 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 let me quickly ship in. I remember there was a time I was ministering somewhere 19 years ago, and there was this guy possessed with serious demons. He broke through all the protocols. He ran to me where I was ministering. It was on a Thursday evening, a special program in a particular place. And he grabbed my, he was trying to grab my throat. And people, everybody panicked. And I just used my hand to say, relax. And uh, as he was trying to hold my throat, uh, the word came from God. And I said, you that demon controlling that hand, leave right now in the name of Jesus. And this man went down to the floor. And I continued with my teaching. I remember a particular place, I think about uh, 11 years ago, I was preaching to and a madman came in with a stick. And what will you do now? You are on the pulpit preaching, sir. And a madman ran inside with a, a big plank, chasing everybody. And people are looking at you. You are preaching that your God is great. <laughs> Things will happen. But if you are a messenger, with a message, and, and I remember that this should be because uh, I, I, I will remember the, 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 this is, is not a celestial church. They, the pastor who hosted me then, I, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> that story happened, uh, I think it should be about uh, 14 years ago. And, you know, as the, the madman was uh, disturbing everybody, I just spoke, I said, look, I would have prayed for you now to get your deliverance, but this is what the Lord says. I don't know why. Leave this place now and go away. You will be delivered. I don't know what is going on, but I don't know why the Lord is telling me sir, that I told, look at that man, tell his people that naturally is going to be delivered in the next two years. And they went and told the family of this madman on the street that uh, a, a man of God said he would be okay without anybody praying for him in the next uh, two years. And the other brother wrote the date down. Exactly two years, he woke up where he was staying out, uh, outdoor and he said, and he became sane, he became normal. Exactly two years. And it was later he now told people that he was actually a prophet in a particular denomination that I won't mention, and somebody gave him money to package a, a, a sham to make uh, somebody uh, to run mad. So the thing bounced on his head. So the number of years that the program that the person should actually uh, run mad was actually the number of years that he himself ran mad. The ways of the Lord are mysterious. Mm. Can you see now? I just use that to denote that when you hear the right message, that is why I'm begging all our listeners and our brethren. What made me to, to be able to, uh, what uh, actually developed me to that level? So let me tell you. Uh, when I gave my life to Christ, I was blessed. I don't like to use the word fortunate. I was blessed and graced to have been trained by messengers with messages. Can you hear that, sir? Very well, sir. Because, sir, Yoruba will say, I came for Jacob Motoru. Some people will be believers for 70 years, but they will never enjoy God. They will never enjoy the victory of God. They, some people have been serving God now since 1970, sir but they are still living in fear. And some people started serving God three months ago because they are graced to listen to messengers with messages. Okay, let me surprise you, sir. Uh, after 60 days that I gave my life to Christ, 60 days, two months exactly when I gave my life to Christ, you saw all those things. You, I hope you have watched some of my videos uh, to the glory of God where you, you saw deliverances taking place. Yeah. Those things you saw in those videos had started happening in my life since after two months I gave my life to Christ. 
within 60 days, I gave my life to Christ. Those things started, those unique <laughs> deliverance healing started taking place. Why? Because the people that trained me were messengers with messages. They fed me with the word, they, they, they fed my faith. They were able to build me with the word of the Lord. If, if I had grew up where I was trained to, to be praying against lizards and spiders, Baba, today, that's what I've been doing all about. <laughs> that's what I've been doing all about. But because I'm, I'm just showing you that if you see a child now eating the right diet, your Bible will say, Oh, yeah. You have a point. So what you are here listening to, that's why I've been begging people. It is not all messages you are allowed to soak inside you. It is not all prayer points you pray. If I'm reading a book now, the moment I discover that this book was written by so a messenger without a message, I will drop it. If I'm listening to anybody and I know this is not a message, this is not the good news, I will shut my hair immediately. I want to, like I tell people now, somebody is telling you, she has skin color, Baba, big bobo will lay a year back pray for you, sir. Won't only real tie yet. Lori program ten shay, and then it's your two hitting you tell them. Okay, tell back pray, let it alone, Pabu, but I put on the way or light to tell out that topo. And let me now surprise everybody. If God should decide to kill all my enemies and all your enemies, I won't go to my belly a year ago. So there are things God knows the people He will remove. What He's saying is that when you are fed with the right word, you know, Saul and his soldiers were fed with the wrong message. He was too skillful, and they they they, they consumed the information, they digested it. So when Goliath came, they ran. But David was fed with the word of faith. So when he came, he said, eh, eh, forget about this. Eh, and King Saul was now trying to be a messenger without a message. He called David. Have you checked the, the military uh, a CV of Goliath? David said, don't show me. He said, have you, said, uh, have you checked his uh, braggadocio? David said, I don't need to check it. So King Saul told David, have you Googled the name Goliath? David said, I don't have a network on my phone. He did, uh, King Saul told David, did you watch his uh, last match in the Olympic? Uh, David said, sorry, we, didn't have, we don't have electricity in our house. I've never heard about this Goliath. All I know is that with God, with what God has said, I will defeat him. And he went ahead. A man without any military experience defeated Goliath where you consume the wrong message. And like I said, message, messengers without messages now, they, they, they go about with them. With the, no, let me tell you something. Do you know ministers? Let, let me open this secret. Do you know oft, oftentimes some ministers plan what they will say? They are host minister. We, we invite a guest ministers and they will discuss the kind of uh, visions of fears that they want to give to the people so that they will pay, so that uh, MAGA will pay. So before you know it, somebody will just, you know, you, I, I, I used to have this friend, not in our denomination, we were very close. Uh, I, you will laugh when I tell you this story because I can see you, my uncle, you always like to, to, to laugh. Uh, he, he started his own ministry then, so he invited me, so when I have time, I'll go there. But I noticed he will be preaching. Is all his sermons were either uh, death, uh, harrow, uh, infancy, death. Anytime he would be preaching, we just pause and say, mm, ah, there's somebody here. Your mother in law is already planning to kill you tomorrow, tomorrow. So I was observing him for about nine months. One day I now called him. I said, Sir, you are a merchant of fear. You are a messenger, you are without a message. Your messages are from Satan and from yourself. 
And I told him, change, because I don't see any future in this. Like I said, sir, today, I'm not rejoicing over him. He has no, he, he, he has sold the place and diverted to other things. When he was selling the fair, uh, people gave him about four cars within the three months. He was making money. But later, the people, they left. Because you cannot fool people forever. So what do we mean now? You will see some people now too. Let me talk about this. When you see a messenger, when you see messengers without message, ah, God, do we even clap for them if you are not in the spirit? Those are the kind of people you will see telling stories that they, they, they know that people will love to hear. And they are the people who will climb the pulpit and be telling you that the Catholic is the best church in the world. <laughs> Celestia is the best church in the world. <laughs> Anglican is the best church in the world. <laughs> Our church is the number one. <laughs> Our denomination is the richest in the world. <laughs> and people will be clapping. <laughs> What has that got to do with it? That you are attending the best school in the whole world. If, if, you, if, you, are, if you should gain an admission to the best university in the whole world and you refuse to, to focus on your education there, you will still fail. I hope I'm right. Very well. Uh -huh. But you will see some people now, if inside their parish, they will, they will climb. Instead of them to tell Jesus about, to tell people the message, they will say, look, uh, this ground, this particular place, when I bought it, at uh, seven angel appear, the angel sell anybody who step on this ground, uh, the, the lane will instantly walk. Anybody who step on this ground, the 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 uh, 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 the, the size will open. If the moment you are on this ground, not that's what they will be preaching. <laughs> and you begin to wonder. <laughs> They will be, instead of you to tell people, to put Christ in people, you are bragging that the land and in this place where we are, you'll be bragging about, you see people bragging about, this thing is all over denomination, bragging that some people, you go to mountains now, you say somebody will say, hey, did they, he climbed this uh, 400 step, an angel took him by the hand and said, this is uh, where Christ placed his laptop. This is where Christ placed his network. This is uh, 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 one another angel with a uh, black coat appear and said, whoever come to this, uh, climb this hill, uh, this will happen. You are, you are preaching a geographical location, geographical location, geographical location. Even Jesus Christ said they won't need to come to any particular mountain. You see people, some people now will go on a pilgrimage. They will say, they are, I've seen a place, I was in a place, this prophet is not a celestial too. I came, he, he, he told me, I come and see me and I went there. He, he went on a pilgrimage to Israel and he, he bought things. And uh, to make his money back, the money he spent on the trip now, he became a messenger of intimidation and fear. Mm. And uh, he told them, I brought this oil from uh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem Hall yeah, for bad dream, for headache, for this. When he finished, we sat in his office and I told him, I said, Prophet, tell me the differences between Jerusalem Hall and Agege Hall. I said, Tell me now we are seated, now we are alone. Show me the differences between Jerusalem Hall. Some people will just go, eh, Jerusalem Mantu. What is the difference between the clothes you bought in Jerusalem and the Yanaka ship they bought in the Kedja? It can make it, it can make it. This trash, this big lies. And they say Jerusalem oil. What it concerns me, what, what is the business of God that uh, they, they made the oil in Nagego in Kedja or they made it in Jerusalem? What's the business of God? You brought man to. Uh, 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 somebody said hey, he bought Bible from Jerusalem I said whether you bought Bible from Ikeja or from Jerusalem if you don't read it you don't go know anything you bought a Bible from Jerusalem Jerusalem what was the difference you know people like deceiving say you bring one water hey, it's Jerusalem water tell me the differences between the waters of where you, the water you fetch in Jerusalem and the water in my village now I know, I know they like those lies I know they like them the, all these lies are because we want to market all these things now. Messengers without message, intimidation, fear, telling people this, things that are not, and that is why the church is where the church is today. We are the soldiers of Christ. We are those who will walk boldly. You know, I tell people, when people, we have raised beggars, spiritual beggars. Hello, sir, I had a bad dream. Hello, sir. Masculine is chasing me. That is not the type of 
members Christ said we should go and raise. We are to go and build them with messages that individually, anywhere they are, they are the light. We need to build our listeners, the congregation to the level that anywhere they get to, when even mere looking without talking, demons will be leaving the, the, the perimeter. We are to train them to the level that uh -uh, you are living in the house. We said uh, the house is haunted. One demon, they there. Now the demon go pack out. Now the demon go carry a, a, a property, come out. No be you go wrong. You can imagine, you will see some people who call themselves a prophet asking, uh, go and beg your somebody, it's a wish. Go and beg him and buy gift for him, for her. Uh, go and lay down, buy clothes. Uh, go and beg the woman. I, I remember a funny story like that. One man thought he was preaching a, a reasonable sermon. How he told one of his members to go to her village and buy clothes and go and kneel down for one of her hands and say, Mama, forgive me. I know. He said later, the lady went there. He went with the gift and the mama smiled and collected the cloak and say, who taught you? And the mama showed her one mirror that even inside this mirror, uh, the church you are attending, that at any time you are there praying, she can she is looking at two people inside that mirror. When he finished uh, preaching that uh, message, and I sat with him, I told him, so I said, What was the meaning of that uh, Rasmatas? He said, Dundee. You, you ask your member to go and be laying down to beg somebody who is using occultic power. <laughs> is that where did you find that in your scriptures? Who should beg who? And the, the, you are bragging that the woman said the, she has a mirror in her room with which she is monitoring even the church the lady was attending. That happened to be your church. Somebody is looking at your church from a demonic mirror. It shows that your church you no know, get Holy Spirit. That your church is that. So that person can even point a stick to the mirror and, and blow your speaker. And the man could not utter a word. And I said, sir, you know, I could be so, when it comes to that, I don't joke with it. You know, there are things that are none of my business when it comes to church politics, anything. But by the time you are turning the Bible upside down, I will talk. Even if you will insult me, I will talk. And I know what I'm saying. So I told him, go and get it right. How many times will you be telling your members to go and beg evil people, to go and be kneeling down and be buying gifts? And today, you know, people, these messengers without messages, We'll be telling members to carry, carry a sotonic fish up. Kino wadu la yika. Tonic of fish up. So some people now will say who carry it and, and go. I don't know. They will, I saw a video where people were pouring a, a Fanta and a, 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 a Five for Life inside the ocean. I don't know. I don't know when a, a spirit inside the ocean started drinking a, soft drinks. I don't know. And uh, the many things we do, the fruits that you should you should be thanking your thank, thanking your God with in the church and dance, and God will answer your prayers. You should come. We now live in perpetual fears because of these messengers without messages. They are delivering the message of the serpent, they are delivering their own messages, they are misleading the people, not only with their wrong sermons, but also with their wrong visions. Wrong visions, wrong, very terrible visions that we bring that we give back to another fear, another fear, another fear, another fear, another fear, another fear intimidation, intimidation, fear, fear, fear. No, the Bible said we are not given the spirit of fear. No. So as a messenger now, my, my advice, my counsel to my listeners, learn, be, listening to messengers with messages and also as a believer, you must become a messenger with message. Those who know the mind of God about things. Those who are speaking the mind of God, not those who are speaking from their own experience. What do you expect him to say, sir? <laughs> You know, I remember a particular prophetess when she told me what she was passing through spiritually. 
The first thing I told her, I said, can you do me a favor? She said, what? I said, my show not power in here for some time. She said, why? I said, with this kind of demonic oppression you have explained to me, there is no way to live fair one way me. But I want demonic power. I know deliver a message. And she discovered I was right, sir. No, and it all lala, don't jump a little, don't jump a little masquerade, don't bar a lawn, can it or waji, don't long fashion. That, that dream is there are many people are experiencing some things. It is not a cry for you to stay away till you begin, you fight some battles in your life and you are victorious before you return to some things. Do you know, sir, that it is normal for ministers? If you notice you are experiencing a spiritual burnout, it is normal for you to take a time off to go and be with God privately. You, you get what I'm saying, sir? Because, but some ministers, uh, they will preach in the money. Uh, they think they are busy. They are getting invitations. Uh, tomorrow, Oshogbo. Day after tomorrow, Ilori. Uh, three days time, uh, Kogi. Uh, four days time, Accra in Ghana. Five days time, Somalia. Monday evening in their church. Some people go because it is their church. Now them get the church. They will never allow their subordinates to, to minister. They will handle the prayer meeting. They will handle the... Before you know it, sir, they will run out because they are not refreshing themselves and they will begin to deliver the message of, of from their home flesh. And before you know it, when they are weak, devil will introduce his own message and they begin to talk jargons. Okay. Hallelujah, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, sir. We are well fed with the words of wisdom, the words of life, and the word from our creator. I really want to appreciate you, sir, and that uh, you've said so much. Yeah, it is so only loaded, God we can appreciate, sir. And I want to believe all the listeners are well fed. I have just three questions because time is past spent. Yes, sir. Number one question, sir. You have really, really blown our minds because I can tell these are what people have been going through and they never knew they are in bondage. But I thank God for your life, sir, to have brought these to the table for people to see where they are falling off. And this is just a wake-up call for every listener who cares to listen. I pray the anointing of the Lord upon your life will keep growing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Number one question, sir. Jesus said in the book of life, the book of Luke yes, chapter sir. 7, verse 28, he said, out of prophets that are born of a woman, the only... That's Luke 7. Luke 7, 28. Okay, sir. Luke I'm there chapter now. 7, verse 28. He says that, for I say unto you, among those that are born yeah. of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist. Yeah. yeah. Now, we knew that Moses came before John the Baptist. We have yes, Elijah, sir. we have Elisha, and the likes of them. Yes, sir. Even Abraham. Yes, sir. We have the likes of them. But Jesus recognized one man of God, one prophet, who was John the Baptist. Now, what is your take in that proclamation by Christ Jesus, recognizing mm -hmm. one person? He said, among all prophets born of a woman, the greatest one among them is John the Baptist. Why that statement? Does it mean those that came before John the Baptist? Never in fact, uh, let, let me even surprise you, sir. Do you know the NIV in its interpretation did not even use the word prophet? He said, I tell you, among those born of women, <laughs> not even just, he said, among those. That was what the NIV fashion now said. But uh, <laughs> that is one of... Uh, uh, interesting. I, I love the verse so much. Uh, I think I can answer the question now, sir. The reason is this. Why John, why Jesus said John was the greatest? Because 
because he proclaimed the greatest message of all. And he welcomed the greatest messenger. He welcomed the message. He introduced the message. Most Abraham spoke about the about the the Bible said they were all open. They know he spoke. They, they, they said, oh, this will happen in the future. Blessed are those. Moses spoke about it. Elijah, Elisha, everybody, David. But now the reason why he became the greatest was he was chosen to be the, the forerunner now who in the womb had had a counter when the both mothers met. Not only that, he, he came proclaiming someone is coming and he saw and he introduced the only Messiah, that made him the greatest. Now, this is the com completion, sir. Yet, the one who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than him. Jesus was now saying that, this is it now, after me now, when I established the church, the kingdom, not the in heaven now, he's talking about the kingdom which we are part. He's saying now that the least of the believers, will now be greater than the one who happened to be the greatest in the Old Testament. That is now, you can see the great, the, the, the very wonderful grace we have. The one who is least now in the kingdom, that is among, it was telling that the least among you will be greater. Why? Because now the message will be the messenger, the radio, the number one messenger, the message will be crucified. He will prevail over death and handed over the victory to us. Let, let, me, let me give you a, a good example, sir. Go and read from uh, Genesis till Malachi. You will only read a place where there was an attempt by one person to, to, mean, to have something we can liken to deliverance. That was when King Saul, the Bible said, uh, King Saul was being disturbed by evil spirits. And they now call on David to be plain. And David never said, you can't find anybody in the Old Testament saying, demon, I rebuke you. Uh, because you are my big brother, sir. Go on and read from Genesis chapter 1 till the end of Malachi. You can help me to dig out where you saw anybody saying, I rebuke demon, come out. Have you read that place, sir? Uh -huh. Anybody rebuking demon in uh -huh. the Old Testament? Uh -huh. The only place we read, and the reason why David was, so, <laughs> was able to do that was that David was, he, he was the man who, who spoke, he, he delivered more prophetic messages about Jesus than any other person in the Old Testament. And most of his Psalms, were written because he was using his app to prophesy about Jesus, those demons oppressing King Saul had to leave mm. temporarily. They will go. When he stopped playing, maybe like three days again, they will come back. He will quickly grab and start playing. And even despite that fact, the king almost killed him with a spear. Why under the demonic one day? And you, you, I know you read the story very well, sir. Thank so, you very sir, much, Daddy. As powerful as Moses. But now, sir, come to New Testament, sir. In our under our dispensation, all believers now, like I said, can say, demons, I rebuke you. And the demon will go. That is to show you the comparison that uh, those in the kingdom now, the church dispensation, are far enjoying greater grace through Christ Jesus now to operate higher realm in the spirit. Hallelujah, sir. God bless you, Daddy. God bless you. That was a very wonderful yes. response. I love that response. And I want to <clears throat> quickly add this. To my understanding of Jesus Christ proclaiming John the greatest among all prophets. Just like you have said, because he proclaimed the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, he paved way for him. Mm -hmm. So many prophets of today, of our time, just like you said, yes, they are sir. merchandising God's work. They are giving prayer points that will instill fear in people. Okay. Can, 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 people. I, can I interrupt you, sir? Yes, can sir. I interrupt you, sir? Without mentioning names, we know some people, the moment they, they, they slept, I don't want to, well, 
let's we have to use the word after they have left this world they they, they have died the place they they claim to have built to call a church you will not see anybody coming there again mm. why should that be so <laughs> because most people they, they are messenger they proclaim themselves so the moment they die you will go, a church where you can find 100,000 next sunday you won't see anybody within 3 years no church again because like you rightly said they never proclaim jesus you know there are ways some people you will think they are ministers they are not preaching christ they are preaching themselves to people and before you know it, people are worshiping they are ah, my prophet my prophet my evangelist my geo my prophet now they are they are preaching themselves eh to ba wa tin ba pase kan sinu aye to ba wa tin ba pase kan oluwa ni kin pase saye eyan meji la oluwa ni eni to ba sha mi to they will look at all these things and somebody will say ka go kan to lu to n ba je bayi to ni baba mi hallelujah sir god be help us god bless you <laughs> Number two question, sir. The second yes, question. Sir. Bible tells us in the book of Second Peter chapter two, verse one. Second Peter Second chapter Peter. two, verse one. It said that there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies. Yeah, Even yes, denying sir. the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves yes, swift destruction. My question is in verse 2. Yes, and sir. many shall follow their pernicious yes, ways mm -hmm. by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. My question there is this. Most of these prophets, pastors, and all what not, General that merchandise <laughs> that merchandise the work of God. We have billions and trillions of people flooding their churches, flooding their mm. gatherings, flooding yes. their websites. Yes. What would be your advice? Because I know whatever you say now goes out there and it goes a long way. Maybe somebody mm. might be met with Christ through your advice that they will put a stop and open their mind to see Christ and not human. What is your take in that, sir? Uh, it has been written in the Bible that uh, in our days, people will not be able to endure sound uh, doctrine. But at the same time, sir, do you know one thing I discovered, sir? Uh, the solution to that, sir, uh, I, I discovered something, sir. I, I recently I was discussing with some of my close friends. I said I've discovered something. If one million people are lying as preachers, if we can get 100 people that are preaching the truth, they will defeat the one million people. This is what I noticed, sir. Messengers without messages, do you know they are more active, more dedicated? Because they are running their own business empires. Do you know that we, that we even know the truth? We are guilty of laziness, slothfulness. The, these people that are messengers without messages, they are always the first to take advantage of every, if you, they, are, they, they are the ones who are ready to, to, to spend, to do everything, to proclaim their, they will be like, I, 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 I I, I made a sentence that made somebody laugh. I said, I've listened to many preachers. They know how to lie confidently. You know, when somebody is lying confidently, they know how to mesmerize you confidently and you will be clapping. But the, the challenge is this. And now they have the resources. But before you know it, even the people that know the truth, instead of them to come out like we are doing, to be discussing the truth, they will be, they will be grumbling complaining, analyzing in the corners of their rooms. Instead of them to come out, lies can only be tackled with the truth. So we can't blame the people that are trooping after them. Yeah, there's a, there's, there is this verse in the Bible that says, to an hungry uh, person, everything is sweet. And it be bang 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 
in tan gbon la won tele awon to fe so otito na gan sa na the people should be see they will be see people analyze it eh to se yen instead of us to come out so but thank god today i think give glory to god and uh, coming home now to our own uh, 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 food Thank God that a lot of preachers are returning back to the ways of our founding fathers. Sir, so you can go on the social media now and check some sermons that are. In fact, I, I can say this boldly. I've been telling people, I said they should write it down that the Celestial Church of Christ is, be, is gradually becoming, when it comes to the message of salvation now, I said people should write it down. The Celestial Church is becoming a church, uh, number one, when it comes to preaching salvation, when it comes to preaching obedience and the fear. Others are still doubting it. Because as a like I said in the, in the story of Neman, in Tamafi, we are yemo ni oro alone. By the word, oro lamafi, we are yemo. So the, 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 that by message of God about the church. The meaning is that to, to open the eyes of those who had been deceived. So now, sir, if you check when I'm when I'm going through the, the, the especially Facebook now, uh Instagram, and I, I'm coming across messages of ministers and our fold, I always say, Glory be to God. You see now. More than all other denominations have not just been uh, uh, maybe biased now. More than all other denominations now. And now great preacher in Celestial now you see coming out is talking, is now talking about salvation. Give your life to Christ. Obedience. Talking about holiness. Talking about serving God. Worshipping God. Dedication. I said the, the, the prophecy is being fulfilled. So sir, to your question now, sir. I, 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 the whole world is expecting a revival, and it is written in the Bible. It is called they are they are with, they are eagerly awaiting the manifestations of the sons of the Lord. And I know that God is about to use our 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 church in particular to fulfill that prophecy. I know, I know, I know very very well that this church, by the grace of God, is coming to fulfill that prophecy because I've been saying it. The kind of scriptural knowledge that that uh, is coming out from the Celestial Church of Christ now is, is, is unique. Others are, are still not noticing, but I know very soon, sir, they will begin to notice that what is going on because God is really doing it in our midst. And like you said, I'm still encouraging our people to, I don't want to talk about some things. Let us overlook some needless things because time is going. Baba, me let me so can I surprise you, sir? A koko te me nyi fiche program mo isa. Ije mo koko te di kuro ni besi aye wa. A koko ta lo lori program mo isa. O te din ni nu o joti e me nyi ma ando no ke ekwe sa. Ko si ti ta le she, o te yokuro mbe. So when I realized that, I want to speak to our, to, to, the, to fellow members of the Celestial Church of Christ. We should... We should we should focus on, on, on the on the on the on the message. Let's forget about the message is what unites us. Christ, Jesus no pe what Jesus no no pe bogwa Jesus no bring what together. And the purpose of the church, sir. In fact, the name is so wonderful, Celestial Church of Christ. It, that is to tell us that the church is all about Christ. I used to tell people everything about the Celestial Church is. Everything about this is about Christ. So the, the, our main assignment, if by that name you know, I need the analogy to go. Celestial Church of Christ. It means we are to speak, we are to demonstrate, we are to showcase, we are to deliver. Our message is Christ, 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 not crisis. Is it, no, no, no. Thank God this is, is, a, is Celestial Church of Christ, not Celestial Church of Crisis. Glory be to God. Crisis is not our summer. Christ is our summer. So I thank God. I want to encourage, and I'm using this opportunity to to beg you too, sir. We need we need to come together and create wider, stronger platforms and bring in people that we see that are actually preaching that Christ. We should we should combine our knowledge, our our resources, our links. 
to to actually that is the only way I see that that we the truth uh, will prevail. Hallelujah, sir. Thank you very much, Daddy. Thank you very yes, much. Sir. Time is fast spent, and uh, just like uh, I said, but Daddy, please before you go, just yes, on sir. a brief note, just a brief note. Yes, sir. What will be your message to the Celestians, especially the leadership? of this great church. Just like you said, we all say Celestia will cleanse the world, but what people keep seeing about the church is unspeakable. Mm -hmm. With the embodiment of spiritual knowledge that God has given to you, and with the flocks of people that God has, you know, engaged you with, with the privilege mm -hmm. God has given to you, with the blessings God has given to you to speak to attend churches, what are you doing in your capacity? What are you doing in your capacity with this powerful message that God is using you for? What have you done or what are you doing in the, in the, in the, in the line of leadership to make mm -hmm. them see the reason for this church and the outlook of this church to people in the world for them to say, yes, truly, you have given us some hopes now that go to many platforms now. You see celestial leaders, uh, uh, shepherds preaching the gospel, the salvation of God. But how far have you gone in the leadership realm to really announce the purpose that God has brought this church to the world? Uh, there, are, there are many things I may not be privileged to say on uh, because when it comes to some areas, I... Um, uh, I, I, I do my things silently. Uh, uh, God is with me uh, every day uh, because I, I believe in one thing, sir. The first thing is that before you advocate for something, uh, because I, I will always, when I see anybody complaining about the church, I will tell the person, I will not listen to you unless I see your contribution first. Sir, that is me, sir. If somebody is talking now, I will not, if I cannot see that this is the role he or she is playing in his or her own capacity, I won't talk if you are complaining. So in my own ways, we are, we, are, we are praying, we are discussing, like I said now, there are things we can't discuss here. Uh, people like uh, you, our uncle, many of us, we are discussing, walk, uh, walking day and night, praying to God. And uh, eh, because I discovered something, sir, if we are busy, we won't have time for some things. And truly, we should be busy. Jesus Christ said, Baba, like you said, But I will only say one thing, Timofeki, to Sorry, a bit on the cold durosi. Lie jadum tio quay, a bit more quiesi. Co sing cotto fair than a new jomimo, tio long on his sweater. Sir, without, I do tell anybody, without way, okay, a more wow, what deep way, what had the committee or wash a bye. Tia anybody, fancy on long and we joy to focus. Co come, I shake tia long. Come on, buy your jadu anything. In total, no matter. Oh my, that is one grace that is so peculiar about the church. You can become whatever God wants you to become as a servant. Lie by any kenny drunk, lie for anything. And it all wawa ye shamasi. But let's use this channel to talk to our elders. I like to call them our elders. Because that is more, I like, it's more weighty than, say, leaders. To our elders, who saw how it was. Mm. They were there, how it was in the beginning. One weakness, they should think about that. So that moment sort of come. Sometimes 
ti ran se olorun yen to ba dojo kan to olorun ni wa se mi ohun to pon ki se pe keni yen ma so tan ni kan wi pe mo wa nbe nigbati olorun lo eniyan o je kari ohun ti eniyan na ri gba to ba je omo odo rere to ba je olute le rere omo o ye ko jo laye oluwa e a leader we want to look back and say i want more team of big jomi so we should consider that and and and, and leader what makes a leader what make elders is the is the capacity of god in you it's not even age actually so yeah eldership is not about age the where there are places a 35 year old man could be qualified as an elder and a 75 old person could be unqualified as an elder but like i said uh, there are some things i cannot say what we should all remember eleni ma kan fe fi summarize i i realized something one day to je kin wa careful sir anything we are doing let us be doing it as if it could be the last thing we will do ojo ta ba te ni mind yen sir a fi bero olohun se gbogbo nkan sir ojo kan la ma wo aso last to je pe the next one ta ba ma wo won ma wo fun wa se ri gbogbo iwa sun ta n se kiri ta n record ni sir ti jesu ba fa bibo ese yin ojo kan le yan ma wa kan ti oni wa mi mo ojo kan le yan ma gbesin kan ti oni gbe mi mo awon to gbe esin lana da se ba wa la awon to wa sun ni je tada awa la n wa leni baba awon mi lo ma wa sun lola so ta ba ran ti yen iwo n ba la ma ja tori awon kokon mo the little time ta ni a lo fun olorun hallelujah sir thank you very much daddy god bless you god bless your wisdom i want to this is the christ advocate here we are in maryland united states of america and uh, we have on the platform our lovely daddy amiebu enigmatic man of god the vessel in the vineyard the heartbeat and uh, the spokesman of our lord jesus christ the advocate of our time a person of evangelist tunde and luko with all due respect we can see the anointing flowing upon our father we can see the the, the bliss of our lord jesus christ around him we can see the aura of our lord jesus christ upon him and, ar and around him I want to believe all the listeners today, you are well fed in the scripture, in the words of God. And our father has been able to expose us to all the nitty gritty about the message and the messenger. He has told us what we, want, we need to understand, what we need to look out for as a Christian, as a child of God. Do not be bamboozed by the wolves in the society who call themselves the, 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 the messenger of Christ. Meanwhile, the message they give, it's all about themselves. You need to know your honors. You need to understand the gathering that the Lord has called you to be. You need to understand when you hear the voice of God. Is it the voice of God you are actually listening to or the voice of man? You need to know even when your pastor, your prophet speaks to you. Is he saying what he's saying from the heart of God or is only saying it to merchandise his own image. These are the things we need to understand, and this is what our Father has brought to us today to nurture us and to liberate us from our illusion for us to understand the Word of God. That day we cannot but continually appreciate your person. We, are, we appreciate God. God will continue to hone your homes throughout the world in the mighty name of Jesus. As a tradition amen, amen. upon this platform, sir, we always yes, sir. have a bottle of water as the Lord has mandated us. And every man of God that comes to the platform always bless it for us, especially for those that are not feeling too well, who are indisposed. We believe with this water, when the man of God speaks to it, it will turn to the blood of Christ Jesus to heal the sick and liberate the captive. Daddy, you have the floor to pray on the water for us. Jehovah. Holy. 
Jesus Christ. Holy. Holy Michael. Holy. Afi Babo, very low. All those people who are holding their own bottle of water, or those who are washing, they are not holding anything, only their faith, they have waters in their bodies. I pray now, as someone who is sure that you call them as your messenger, I know that I'm your messenger, and I know that I, and I pray, Remember your covenant with your servant, let's be your chauffeur. I pray for everybody now that that bottle of water you are holding, the grace is the grace. The messenger, when he speaks on something, we release the word of faith that the power of healing, the grace of healing, we prevail and walk with that water inside that water in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray for those who are washing me. Maybe they have ailments in their body. They are diseased, sicknesses, barrenness. We pray right now, heal them. Heal Amen. them. Amen. And I also pray for those I want to see bondage of fear, messengers without message. They want to for GBT. They want to feel wrong. Message. Like the serpent, don't if you want to know it, they who are living in perpetual unending fear. Let your breeze of faith set them Amen. free. Amen. Let the word of faith set them free. And we Amen. pray for our great church. We pray for the celestial church of Christ. Yes, Lord. Amen. We Amen. ask for peace now in this fold. Oluwa, funwa ni alafia, funwa ni ife, funwa ni oye. Ade badura, ugwa wanto ti gbedi de all those ministers all over, young men and women, our elders who are who are fighting the battle of faith. Baba, ema fara pamo funwa. Amen. Release the grace. Amen. Give them messages. Amen. Like you told me 24 years ago, you said, my son, you will have an uncommon understanding of the Bible. I pray for those listening to me too. Whenever they pick their Bibles to read, the, under, the divine understanding will operate in their lives, in their Amen. hearts. Thank you, daddy. And I Thank pray you, for your servant that you are using for this uh, program. The Lord will enlarge you. And Amen. you, sir, you will become a global voice of faith. Amen. You will become a messenger that will cast out spirit of fear Amen. and of defeat. Amen. 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 Amen.